Hello y'all, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. It is a lunch break for me on a Thursday. That's when I'm recording this. Um, as you may have seen from the thumbnail, which I have yet to make, but I will be making. Today it's all about more pucker butt. Pucker butt. That's what it says. Pucker butt. That is the name of the company, okay? I won this packet from our good friend Joe, Garden State Gardener. He'll be linked up here. He'll be linked down below. I won this on one of his pierogi Mondays, I believe, where he does hot stuff and samples it and stuff. Now, I am out of pepper powders to sample, but this is another hot one. Now, I did do a pucker butt before, but it was the sweet heat. This one is the hotter Carolina sweet heat peanuts. It says hotter. Now, the other ones, they were like candy to me. I actually, I finished the whole bag pretty much myself. But um, these, let's see what these entail. This is an eight ounce packet. Um, let's see, in the Pucker Butt Company, it says it's PuckerButtPepperCompany.com. And that is all spelled out like the word Pucker Butt, which you will see in my description and stuff if you want to look them up and order them. They are made in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Okay. The ingredients are peanuts, sugar, and a special pepper blend. Doesn't tell you what it is. Let's see if it's Deborah proof packaging. Everything always is. It does look like just a paper packet. However, it is lined on the inside of that paper with a plastic coating. So it's not just, you know, a bunch of peanuts in paper. I don't have a napkin over here. I have some I can reach though. I don't have a beverage, so I hope they're not too darn hot. Mostly just smell like peanuts. Actually, let me grab that. Hopefully I don't shake the whole world here because I do have a packet of napkins that I keep over here on this table. Because otherwise, I'm just going to get peanuts and dust everywhere. We know it. I know I'm a mess. Want to raise some hell? It's what it says. This is a cute shirt at the pocket. The skeleton sitting in a pocket. I got this at Torrid uh, many years ago. I absolutely adore this t-shirt. Yes. Hair is a mess. There is no makeup today. The eczema is totally flaring up. My hands are killing me. But uh, we're doing this. All right. Just another work day for me. Another lunchtime break. We're going to have some peanuts. My first hit is the sweet. I can feel there's a little bit of heat there. But it's not blinding me. Oh, there it goes. Hello. I had to really get into my mouth, I guess, to let me know it was there. That is a nice, fun heat. Now, what I mean by that is, unless you're someone like my hubby. Now, my hubby cannot take spice like that heat at all. None. Zero. But I am not a pepperhead or a chili head, despite what some people try to say now. Um, these, to me, are fun to eat. You get the sweet, you still get the yummy roasted peanut, and then it kind of sneaks in on you and goes, ha ha, here a little something special. These are good. I'll be snacking on these for the next few days, I'm sure, because I'm the only one in the house that'll eat them. I don't think Oscar will eat them, although he might. Much. His name is Oscar, but we also call him Munch. And his paws are wet. He's been paw drinking. You probably hear his fountain. It needs to be refilled and everything. So it's kind of making racket. Yes, he has his own water fountain. And he will stick his paw in there and drink from it sometimes, which is what he did. He has little wet paws. Hi. What you doing? He ate some popcorn this morning. Yes, you did. Here, look at the camera. Do you see that pretty face? Yes, he knows I'm talking about him. But hot peanuts, not so much. Oh, and I had a little trick, something that I tried out of desperation. If you've been watching, you know that right now I've got plants in the house. Um, tomato plants, um, pepper plants. They're grow they're I started them from seeds, like whoa. Like for me that that is a like whoa. And I've got my tomato plants in my bedroom. It's the best sun in the house. That's on the south side of the house. So there, it's a nice bright window when it's sunny outside. Um, but he thought he was going to go up and flap a lip on those tomato plant leaves. And I'm like, nay, nay, we are not playing this game. 
So I have some of the pepper powders from Jimmy Pickles that I had not used. And some of the really super hot ones, I might put it on something, but I had more than I needed. So I took some of it, didn't even use the whole packet. There is a ridge in the doohickey that I have my planter sitting in. Um, I put some of the pepper powder in there around it so that if you approach it with your face, you're going to get a whiff of pepper powder. He has not gone near the tomato plants since. Yes, win for me, okay? So that's a thing that I did. <laughs> okay, it's one of these pucker butt. Mm. And the funny thing about their logo could be a chili. It also looks like okra. We're in the south. Could be the thing, but I'm betting it's probably a chili of some kind. These pucker butt peanuts are pretty darn good. Just a tiny bit of burn in the mouth. It is not bad at all. If you've ever eaten hot wings at pretty much any restaurant anywhere and you like the wings, even when they're supposedly hot, you've got this. You are all over this. This is not super hot at all by any means. This is a nice snacky snack. Yes, this is fat chick approved right here. This fat chick. Mm. Got some more over here. I want to know who came up with the name, though. Bucker butt. I love saying it. <laughs> it's so fun to say. <laughs> say it once or twice. Seriously, say it. And um, tell me it's not fun to say. Bucker butt. Get your kids to start saying it. That would be funny because it's not a bad word. It's just fun to say. Bucker butt. <laughs> I'm going to go sit around and eat some more of these pucker butt peanuts and um, enjoy the rest of my lunch break, work on my temperature blanket, work on everything else I got going on. I've also got a very large bag of dirt in the trunk of my car that I need to carry in and put on the back porch. It's heavy. It's so heavy. I don't want to, but I gotta. So there it's going to have to happen. And I just ordered some plant stands for outside so that I can start replanting some of this stuff and getting it out of the house. Because I think that we're done with cold weather season here. I might still wait a week. I don't want my little baby plants to die. This is the first time I've had them. <clears throat> um, if you're new here, thanks for coming by for this crazy little video. Um, Check out my playlist. Some may have popped up above in the description below or just in the YouTube doobly-doo thing. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of my little crazy life YouTube family. I will see you very, very soon. And uh, pocket butt! <laughs> Bye, y'all.